walking away your words are lost on me it's taking everything not to turn around throw it away see if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me i can see it now hey when i lose but if i'm gonna lose you So hard on myself, it's true. Pick apart the things I do. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esperanza Perita, aka Amy Sweet. So guys, today I'm back with a new episode, and today we are house hunting again in Ruaka for the last time and i'm here because i need to see or check out a two bedroom apartment that is really marvelous i've seen the pictures i love it it's just like to go there in person with my tape as mentioned earlier so that i can just make sure that the floor plan is looking amazing and everything will fit in look at this space guys look at this how the lighting is coming in look at the popcorn ceiling not actually the big popcorns but the tiny ones as you can see i love this boob light but i actually don't like love it love it so i might change it and i love the wall wherever wall scones and first things first let's just head to the kitchen because that is what just welcomed me when i came in here Hmm, granite countertops. Okay, okay, okay. I won't talk much about that. And yes, look at this cabinetry. It's really amazing to just see how this guy went all out to make sure that us ladies have something or have some space in the kitchen. You can actually just decide to hide away everything that you want because look at this, guys. Why not? balcony this is something right and for me with Gigi I just need a balcony this is the balcony that you get to from your kitchen really amazing I can see there are structures out here and I'm just looking downstairs I can see the parking lot I'm just like oof this is a deal Heading back in to continue exploring because this house, this house is goals. But the money, oh my goodness. Nani atani changia? That's the question. So I'm just like trying to explore this cabinetry and understand their lay layout and everything. That's why I'm opening and again, you know, I have to test if water is available. So yes, I tried, but the guy said, Wamefunga and water is always there because it's inclusive in the rent. Are you pressed for time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. 
Staying up all night, throwing drinks by. Now, let's head on to other spaces and I think just here on my left, I think this is my left hand, right? So here on my left, you have your common washroom or your wash area and this one is for your guests. I actually love the fact that this washroom is just next to the visitors or the guest bedroom, which is amazing actually, right? Because you don't want to be getting out of shower and running across the room with your towel falling and everything and you are actually not in your house, you are at your other person's house or your friend's house. It's embarrassing, right? So yeah. I actually love it. Look and check out this shower. I loved it. Oh my goodness. The shower head, this shower head is goals. Something worth mentioning is this cabinetry in your washroom. Like your guests can actually organize their stuff here. Like who does this for you guys here in Nairobi? But okay, let's not waste time. Let's head on into the bedrooms. Been losing my mind, like being lost in your Yeah, your food, saw my plans reversing. You know that it's working. You're working. Of course, in an African home, you start with the visitors. Now, this is your guest stroke visitor's bedroom. Look at this storage, guys. It's really, really amazing to see somebody going out of their way to just make sure that you have enough storage in the house so that you enjoy. Imagine all this space for your guests. Wow, drawers for your panties, for your socks, for your bra, for, for your boxers, anything that you want to place in there. Why am I just mentioning those tiny, tiny and innerwear things? Because these are the things that we tend to lose or just misplace anywhere. And when I talk about that, it's washing machines, in machines, so yes, those drawers are for you. And look at this bedroom. I love the ceiling, I love the lighting coming in, and everything is just perfect. Your guests will love it. And now, the master bedroom. No matter what you tell yourself I should have known that we could First, did you realize that this cabinetry in here in the master bedroom is actually larger than the one we saw in the guest? Yes. If you saw that, I also saw that too. Because wow, wow, wow. If you're the owner of the house, you have a lot of things to store. You need a lot of cabinetry, right? So here you go. You have all that. Look at that, guys. Something I noticed with this house, all through the rooms we have the boob lighting. I, when I refer to boob lighting, you know that that kind of the shape and whatever. And yes, you can see your kitchen from your master and suit. So I'm talking about kuiba kukuya ko pale kwa jikoni kama we ni mluya. You already understand. Like mlango unacha wazi unajifanya unalala kumbe unachungulia watu. Okay, okay. And I'm not saying that us luyas we do that. No, I'm just joking. Stumbling home. We don't know where we're going. Should have turned back hours ago. hours ago. Out of our minds, I guess we're sleeping outside. Imagine waking up with the sun in your face. Yes, that is what you get in this master bedroom. And now the master washroom or the ensuite itself. You know why? A beautiful mirror a huge sink for you and the tiling in this place is awesome but if you want to paint them i think you can actually paint because this dark color sometimes they hide a lot of things right so this is your washroom area it's combined and then what more could you ask for your tissue papers your lotions your wherever they actually go here look at these guys these guys were actually thoughtful i love this about them amazing
heading out of the master bedroom let's let me like show you the living room and you know i have my tape actually and i didn't actually have to measure this living room because it's huge it's actually 10 feet by no 15 feet by 11 feet which is amazing it will actually fit my things and now we are in the on the main balcony that's the living room balcony and i actually love the lighting that comes in through this place guys oh my goodness i actually love it but something that terrifies me a little bit is the electric fence that is just near the balcony like if something happens there you know you know is it was a steamer a zinanga wherever or wherever so that is what frightened what is frightening me actually about this balcony but i love it and then you can see tarmac out there like you can actually decide to park up or inje ama uingie upa kwa basement but yeah i love this place i love everything here and oh my goodness i can't just wait to see what the conversation from here leads to and yes guys that is it for this house the house itself is actually going for 31,000 I'm trying to put in a few things like negotiation and everything to see if they can actually meet me halfway and I will just inform you but for now it's at 31,000 and it's a two bedroom master suit and it's amazing I love it and it's in Ruwaka actually from me sweetest peace and i'm out i will see you guys on the next one